Thank you, Jesus. This is no time to sleep, people. This is no time to be comfortable. We must be alert, awake, vigilant, sober. Hallelujah. You even hear those that kind of words, that kind of term. You, you hear those words in the government sometimes when things are going really bad in the United States and there's, and there's protesting and the police department says we're being vigilant. Telling the people, be vigilant. And the word of God tells you and I to be vigilant. Because we have an adversary that seeks to devour us. And we're supposed to be resisting him steadfast in the faith. Amen? Not supposed to be letting the devil come in, giving him place. We're supposed to resist him. Submit to God, resist the devil, he'll flee from you. Amen. You can't resist the devil and open the door to him at the same time. What's it going to be? Are you going to resist him or are you going to let him come in? Are you going to resist his words? Resist the serpent's voice? Or are you going to let his voice affect you? Block it out, saints. Block out the voice of the devil. Block out the voice of the serpent. That stream that's trying to beat on you in this hour. Trying to get you to compromise. Trying to get you to quit. Trying to get you to give up. Don't listen to that voice. Listen to that voice that says, keep going. Don't give up. Cross the finish line. You're almost there. Press toward that mark. Run the race. Finish your course. Let no man steal your crown. Hallelujah. Listen to that voice that says, To him that overcometh, Will I grant to sit with me in my throne? Even as I also overcame and sat down with my father in his throne. Listen to that voice that says, come up hither. Come up here and sit with me in my throne. Amen. The devil doesn't share his throne. But Jesus shares his throne. Amen. The higher you get up, closer to the throne of Satan, the Antichrist, the the closer you get to the devil, the more dangerous it becomes. The more he eyes. He doesn't want to share that limelight with anybody like a Donald Trump. Gets dangerous. Probably the most uncomfortable position in the White House is the vice president because Donald Trump doesn't want to share that throne. He doesn't want to share that light, that limelight. But Jesus says, come up here. Come up here and sit with me. I'm the king of kings and the Lord of lords. And I call you up to come sit with me in my throne and rule and reign with me, the king of glory. No greater calling. This is the high calling, saints. He's calling us up. You're being called up. If you was in the United States military and you were being called up, that means you are going into a higher position and the Lord is calling you up. He's calling you up, brothers and sisters. Come sit with me in heavenly places. Don't live on that earthly plane. Amen? Mount up with wings as eagles. Mount up. 
soar. Get above it. Amen. Get above everything. Seated with Jesus in heavenly places. In Christ. Get your eyes off this world. Soar in the spirit. Hallelujah. Don't let the cares of this life, amen, choke out his word. Don't be ensnared by the cares of this life. As a snare shall it come upon all the world. Don't you be caught in that snare. The cares of this world, the cares of this life. Hallelujah. Come up here. Can you hear him saying that in this hour? Come up here, John. I want to show you some things. The Lord's saying that to us. Come up here. I want to show you some things. I want to reveal some things to you. I want to give you understanding of the mark of the beast. Come up here. I want to show you some things. You really want to understand it? You really want insight? Come up here. I'll reveal it to you. I'll show it to you. And then you can take it to the world. You can take it to my people. But come up here. I want to reveal some things. I want to show you some things. I want to give you some hidden manna. I want to feed you. I want to get you ready. I want you to overcome. Even as I overcome. I'm not keeping anything from you. I want to give it all to you. I want to pour it out to you. I want to give you the kingdom. Come up here. Come up here and let me show you some things. Come up here and let me reveal my word to you. Did not our hearts burn within us as he opened to us the scriptures? He wants us to come up there so he can open to us the scriptures. He wants us to join ourselves to that chariot. He wants us, brothers and sisters, to come into his presence. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. Don't get distracted, saints. Don't be distracted. That's how the illusion is created. That's how they make the illusion, by a distraction. Oh, I feel his presence. Come up here, John. John was on the Isle of Patmos. Amen. For the testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ, he was banished. Treated like he was a criminal. Treated like he was less than human. He says, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. I saw some things. God revealed some things to me. When's the last time you were caught up in the Spirit, saints, where God revealed some things to you? Amen. Where He opened to you the Scriptures. Oh, I feel His presence. Hallelujah. I feel your presence, Jesus. Oh, I want to see Him look upon His face. There to sing forever of his saving grace on the streets of glory. Let me lift my voice. Cares all past, home at last, ever to rejoice. Oh, I want to see him look upon his face. Folks, I'm going to tell you, if you ever 
desire to understand truth, if you ever desire to understand the word of God and you're looking to man or you're looking to even brother Joseph, you're looking in the wrong place. You need to go up there. Amen. You need to sit with him. He'll open it up. He'll reveal it to you. He'll pull it back. He'll move the veil back, brothers and sisters. He'll show you. He'll open up the seals and let you see it. He says, seal it up. Seal it up, Daniel, till the time of the end. But Jesus says, come on up here and I'll unseal it. I'll let you see it. I'll let you see my plan. I'll let you... Folks, is this making you hungry? Is this causing you to get uh, an appetite? Amen. Is this causing you to hunger and thirst after righteousness? Thank you, Jesus. We look in all the wrong places, don't we? And the Lord's saying, seek me. Seek me. You'll find me. I'll be found of you. Because you can't really find the Lord because he's not lost. But he'll be found of you. Amen. Seek me. Seek me while you can. Seek me now. Amen. Hallelujah. Seek me. Jesus is telling us to seek him, people. Through the Holy Spirit, he's saying, seek me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Come up here. Come up here. That's not limited to John, saints. Come up here. Come up here. I want to show you some things. Call unto me, Jeremiah. I'll show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. He had to say that twice. Jeremiah didn't get it the first time. He says, call unto me, Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came unto me again. Call unto me, Jeremiah. Don't let your circumstances your present circumstances. Don't let your sufferings, don't let the things you're going through distract you from hearing His voice and obeying His voice. Amen? Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You got to seek the Lord, saints. We don't seek God anymore. We really don't. We don't seek him. Seek my face, the Lord says. Seek me continually. Seek me. Seek me. Hallelujah. Is he not worthy for us to seek him? Seek ye first the kingdom of God in his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Seek me early. Seek me early, the Lord says. In other words, seek me first. Seek me before anything else. Seek me. Put me first. Hallelujah. Praise your name, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. When I was on that 10-day fast, the Lord said to me one of those days, he said, he said, You're, I'm going to use you to turn my people around. He said, they're going in the wrong direction. That's what he told me when I was fasting. He said, I'm going to use you to turn my people around. They're going in the wrong direction. Oh, God, they think they're going towards you. They think they're they're, they think they're going in the right direction and they're really going in the wrong direction. Turn around. You'll hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way. Walk ye in it. Ask for the old pass and the Lord will give you direction, saints. Oh, Hallelujah. You'll hear a voice behind you. 
just like Mary heard a voice behind her. Amen? She turned around. She knew it was him. We got to get turned around, people. That's what repentance is. Turning. Turn. Turn. Turn all the way around to your face to face with the Lord. Some of you folks, he's, the Lord hasn't seen your face in so long. He sees your back. You show the Lord your back all the time because you're going in the wrong direction. You're going away from him instead of to him. Turn around and come to Jesus. Fear not. Be not afraid. Come to Jesus. Hallelujah. He won't cast you out. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes when we've sinned against the Lord, we feel like he'll never take me back. He'll never take me back. That's not the truth, people. That's the devil that says that to you. Come home. Amen? Turn around and come home. Amen? Praise the Lord. As a young country boy, how my heart did leap with joy when the Savior saved me from my sin. And then a man I became, and I drifted far from his name. And I went back into the world once again. But I came back to the one that really loved me. And I came back to the one that really cares. And I came back to the one that really loves me. Thank God. He heard and answered prayer. Now the devil, he used to say that there is no way that the master will take you back again. This one thing I did believe until I fell down on my knees and the Savior breathed new life again. And I came back to the one that really loved me. I came back to the one that really cares. I came back to the one that really loves me. Thank God he heard and answered prayer. Amen. Come back. Turn around and come home. Hallelujah. God bless you, everyone. Thank you, Jesus.